All right, environment matters to us here at WSA 9, and that's why we're celebrating Earth Day all weekend long. Well, if you've been to Rock Creek Park, you've seen the landscape covered in that lush green ivy. Now, it might look nice, but it's not great for the environment, right? No, yeah, that's right, Charla. It's beautiful to look at, mm -hmm. but conservation experts say that it is growing out of control. Yeah. I went out to Rock Creek Park earlier this week, and I learned a little bit about what it looks like out there and why it needs to be ripped up. This is English Ivy. This hill is covered in English Ivy, and this is what we're trying to get rid of. Exactly. Jeannie Braha is the executive director of the Rock Creek Conservancy. She and her team of volunteers are pulling up English Ivy at Rock Creek Park in Northwest DC. So English Ivy is a plant that most people are familiar with. We've gone to an Ivy League college or just seen it in people's yards. Um, that grows very quickly and it is not native to this area. Mm -hmm. So as a result, it can outcompete the plants that should be growing here and provide food to the wildlife that live in Rock Creek Park and throughout our forests. This ivy is an invasive species that's strangling native plants. When we remove the English ivy and the other invasive plants from the forest, it creates space. It allows the light to come down to the soil and it allows those native plants. You have all these beautiful May apples here. Um, it gives them the chance to pop up and return. Volunteers spend hours raking up the vines. We wanted to find a fun way to celebrate Earth Day and kind of bring the team together. We did some research in the local area. We wanted it to be the local organization and really get to the roots since we're our office is based in Bethesda, Maryland, um, and we found the Rock Creek Conservancy and they've suggested this activity and so here we are. This idea of people-powered restoration by not just having, you know, the conservancy out removing the ivy, but having volunteers participate, it really helps folks realize what challenges we have, but also the tangible ways that they can help. Here's one way you can help. Braha says before you plant your perennials, make sure they're local. In Rock Creek Park, I'm meteorologist Michaela Lucero, WUSA 9. And you know, I see that everywhere. And again, mm -hmm. we think it looks pretty, but now we know it's not pretty for the environment. No, and I had no idea either because it was everywhere. Yeah, yeah. And I was so surprised. I said, are you really taking all of this out? And she said, yes, volunteers come out and we rip it all up. And we hope that it yeah. stays away. So. And they had great weather to do it this week and all weekend mm -hmm. long. Get out there. It's still Earth Day. We're still celebrating. Yes. And it's a great time to get outside and help our environment. Absolutely. And tomorrow's going to be a mm -hmm. beautiful day.